Hello everyone, today we are going to see how we can uh, ask ChatGPT to write VBA code to use to make a user interface that can help us mm, to uh, enter data into the Excel. So uh, I've already written the code. It, the example is for if we have a form that has student names and we want to enter um, their attendance um, just by clicking on yes or no or just typing y or n um, and then at the end it will give us the whole attendance sheet so uh, I've written the prompt write a VBA code for user interface in Excel that creates a form that goes through names of the students in the first and second column and ask me if uh, if the student is present other wire and press enter and then next student and then next and uh, when the whole list finished it display all that data it uh, records of course all of the data on a sheet um, see what happens okay so it started writing the code uh, meantime we can just open and Excel. Okay, a plan. If we do, first we need to copy this one. Go here into the Excel. Press Alt Alt F N F eleven. Here we have a sheet. We can just insert a user form. Okay. And double click on it and paste our code here and then we can go back and see what it asked to do open the exit press alt f11 to open vba editor insert the new user form by right clicking on the vba code and select insert user form we already did that um, if you see here we created the user form here uh, we went here to insert user form and it created a user form we double click on it and paste the code here what else do you um, add two labels label one the student name label two is the student present and the yes button and the no button uh, copy and paste of our person. Okay, we will we, we'll do all of this. We go here. We can create a, a button here. Turn here. Uh, sorry. Yes, button. And no button. Okay, we can oh we will okay. So the next thing we can do is create a label. Um uh, what does we have the student name and what we can we can create name and then we have another one what is this thing is the Okay, so we have all the things here. Yes button, we can make the caption there. No button, we can make the caption no. Yeah, that is about it. Label one click. And then we can just run 
that good okay so first we need to add some values uh, first name second name I get that, that that will do. Then what happened? Okay. Okay, so that's the first name. And if we say yes, no, no, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, okay, so that's all. we are done with making the user form um, we can uh, we have to use it again and again so we can uh, to make it usable but uh, again and again we can uh, make a new module we can make a new module by clicking on insert module and then we already have a module we can go on a new module uh, make a new subroutine sub attendance and then uh, write the name of the form user form that is uh, user form one we write user form one dot show that is all that is all so okay next we need to go back to the excel right go into any ribbon right uh, right click on okay go into any ribbon right click on customize the ribbon and here we can write Okay, rename it maybe class and in class we can make uh, a new group name attendance give it an icon maybe and then we while the attendance is selected we need to go here click on macros and add this attendance module to to this attendance and then click ok so here we need to and we when we click ok so what did we do wrong what did we do ok we have this class module and the attendance when we click on attendance it will it will work for us that is all for today thank you for